Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 11 of 36. Going to Richmond National Raceway in Richmond, Virginia for the running of the Pontiac Excitement 400. And um, as you see, I got a new color scheme for this race. Really similar to Kevin Harvick's uh, Goodwrench Chevrolet. Uh, with, I just love the silver, the black, the red on it. Uh, it just looks very nice. Uh, let's go to team management here. Last race, I would say, at California was very interesting. Spun coming on the pit road, did a 360. Then decided afterwards, let me just smash into the barrier. I mean, that didn't bring out the caution. It was my spin that brought out the caution, but I smashed into the barrier. Yet, somehow, still came back and finished 17th. So, I mean, it's not too bad, honestly. It was my best non-restricted plate finish, which was the 17th. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. So for the, in the garage, um, overhauling for one more race for chassis number two. Engine number two is being repaired uh, for one more race, but I have built a new engine, no, engine number three. However, that will not be done until nine more races, so it'll be a while. Uh, one race left for the repairing on the body number one. And uh, let me look at tell you the shop additions. Uh, since I got the engine shop, that's how I built the third engine. However, I am now trying to get the fabrication shop, which that won't come in until nine more raises, but that should increase my body downforce, as it says right there. So let's get on into the race. Let's go with chassis number one. I'm gonna have to use the same stuff as I used at California Speedway. So body, uh, chassis number one, engine number one, and body number two. And unfortunately, it's a car rating of 51. I don't know. I don't know about this race. And you know what? This is another short track too. Richmond is a short track. I have not been good at short tracks this season. Bristol I fell out of the race and Martins fell like poorly. Don't know how Richmond is going to be. Let's just get on into the race. I'm honestly not looking forward to it. I just want to get this race done so it can just go on to Charlotte. Alright, Dale Nard Jr. looks like he's on the pole right now, but let's see how I'm going to qualify. I don't think I'm going to get pole, but I want to at least get 30th or better to get my sponsor objective. So here we go. Works his way off the corner, here he comes to the line. Green flag is in the air, the clock has started, and this qualifying run is underway. He heads down into the turns, looking for a fast lap. I don't know, guys. I'm already feeling this race is gonna. Oh, come on! I already feel this race is gonna be bad. Here it is, the final qualifying lap. This is the one that counts. All eyes are on him as he makes his way around the track. If he wants to start up front, this has to be the good one. It's the final lap. Oh, come on! Stop sliding, going in the three. 2258 was the first lap. Let's see what the second lap's gonna be. 2219, a little bit better. It's still 43rd. Oh my God, Dale Nardini gets the pole. Let's see how much slower I was. I'm kind of curious now. Damn, man, that sucks. I, I this is gonna be one of those short track races again. Not the only one in the 22 seconds. How slow was I? 22.08 to a 10th, a little over a 10th slower. Let's just get on to this race. I really want to do this race and get it over with. Welcome to Richmond, Virginia, the site of the action for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race here on MRN. What's in store for us on this track, Barney? This is a fast track, even though it's less than a mile. Richmond's smooth surface gives the drivers plenty of room to maneuver and make clean passes, but you'll still see a fair share of bumping going on out there. Robbie Gordon is always starting in the front of the field at the short tracks, it seems. Well, the key to a good qualifying at these tracks is to not overdrive your car into the corners. He shows that in his smooth and consistent qualifying laps time and time again. Something a little out of the ordinary in this one for Elliot Sadler. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in a race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. You just never know when you start in the back. The 82 car hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine.
engines have fired and the cars are rolling off pit road here at Richmond National Raceway. Dale Knight Jr. and Tony Stewart's going to be on the front row. Ice qualified dead last. Let's just get this Richmond race underway. The starting lineup for the race. You asshole, David Green. I know you're my rival, and I'm sorry about Martinsville, but damn, get over it. It's been two races. Just leave me be. Murray picking up through traffic, though. Picked up almost four spots. You put another behind Oh, but I'm sideways. Come on. Oh, sh shoot. Okay, I'm fine. The 19 car is outside. Sorry, Mayfield. Still there. Just slight contact with them. They're on both sides. I'm just trying to try to keep the car to the bottom as well. Except Bill Elliott. Well, his car is faster than mine. I'm not surprised. Oh my God, I'm no, I don't want to be stuck on the outside lane. I'm not good on the outside lane. Especially Richmond. Leave me alone, David Green. Only eight seconds back to the leader. Stay hungry. Oh my God! This oh my God! This car is tight. I can't turn the car. Don't you don't you do anything? Oh my God! Just be nice. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Don't. Yeah? Want to push me up the track? Oh my God! I just. It looked like I was doing well for for a good couple of laps. I was I got up from 43rd to 39th at one point at the beginning of the race, but now it looks like I'm fading. No surprise because, like I said, Bristol I did terrible, I faded. Martinsville did terrible and faded. There's no surprise here, at Richmond. I'm just ready to go to Charlotte already. Do the All Star race there and. God, please turn car. And this car is so tight, too. Look how slow I am, too. So what happens when we have a car rating of 51. It's so unfortunate. Thankfully, I've noticed by the schedule for this Let's Play, um, don't, don't see any short tracks coming up on the schedule for, oh my God, coming up on the schedule for a while. Uh, New Hampshire is technically a short track, one mile racetrack, though. But I don't know how I'm going to perform there. But, uh... Oh my god! I don't have to go to Bristol for a while. Martinsville for a while. Richmond again for a while. Got some big tracks coming up. And a couple road courses coming up too. Golly, car! I... This is so bad. Can't even turn the car. The car slides in the corner. This is BS. Oh my god. Turn car for the... Love it. This car is so bad. Oh my god. At least I'm not gonna get lap 10 laps into the race like I did at Bristol and Martinsville. I'm gonna guarantee you 13 laps, 14 laps in, I'm gonna get lapped. They're already catching me. Your right front tire's wearing down. Oh, I'm not surprised it's already worn down. Not surprised. All right now, it looks like I'm hitting my marks. Well, that lap I did. Oh my God! Except for now. Your left front tire's a little worn. I'm gonna pit on lap 19 going into 20, or I'll probably pit on lap 20. Dale Knight Jr. is still the race leader, as I see in my mirror. And Tony Stewart's second. Alright, halfway on fuel. Oh my god. This, look how slow I am. This, I'm the slowest car on the track. This is so frustrating. 
Yep, I expected 13 laps in. Is the leader. He's gonna put us a lap down if he gets by. Start out low. I expected 13 laps in. Okay. We're going a lap down. Oh my god! It's gonna be fun to fix. Damn! This car sucks! The handling sucks, the pace sucks, everything about this race car sucks right now. I wish I soaked in my uh, 17th place finish at California Speedway longer. Got Harvick and Rusty Wallace behind me now. Easy now. Gonna need some of that grip later. My god, I'm so slow. I'm so bad. I'm so slow. Car inside. Oh my god, I can't turn this car when I'm on the outside lane. And then Harvick hits me. I have no I don't know where else to go, Harvick. It's either you or the wall. You weren't giving me enough room off the corner. You just have to give my back bumper. Right rear's getting more. Keep an eye out. Carlo. This is so pathetic. I hate this car. Oh my god. You're clear. Hope someone blows a motor so I don't feel like I'm finished last. It's so frustrating, guys. I know, I know, I'm complaining right now, but it is. So, oh my god, I, it's so frustrating when you can't perform well. You got a slow car. Some of the leaders are coming in together. Yeah. Looks like Junior's coming in right now. Bring it in when you're ready. We're in our pit window. I'm not gonna pit yet. It looks like it's still maybe a little too early. Got one outside. The 88 car is still there. It's amazing how slow I have to go around the corner just to make the corner. Car inside. Oh my god! That right front tire. I'm gonna pit on lap 19 going into 40 or 20, I should say. Oh my god, they gained spots, but that's because Number they pitted. Is entering the track ahead. I'm pitting now. This is just pathetic. Okay, watch my speed. Wow, where's pit where's pit road entrance? The 24 car is outside. I just shoved Gordon off pit road. Wow, no wonder so why does it do that? Why does it do that? I don't understand why the game does that. If I didn't make the wedge adjustment, don't change it for me. No wonder I'm so damn tight. The same thing happened at Martinsville. 1.5. It went up 1.5 rounds. Supposed to be a 17 and a half second stop. All right. Well, they got their objective, 17 and a half seconds. So thank you for that. Okay, we're clear. At least it was a fast pit stop or a decent pit stop. But no wonder my car is so damn tight. Same thing happened at Martinsville where when I pitted, I noticed it was a 1.5 tight. I don't understand why the game does that to you. When you're not the one making the adjustment. If I'm not the one making the adjustment, if I didn't make an adjustment, leave it alone. I don't want the game to change it for me. Got a car leaving pit road ahead. Clear. Oh my god, I'm going around. Unbelievable. I swell Waltrip kind of saved me. Unbelievable. Oh my god, I'm so bad at short tracks. What a I just lost it, and then Waltrip kind of saved me, and now I'm rivals with him, even though I had no control of the car, so I couldn't avoid Michael Waltrip. I couldn't avoid Michael Waltrip, so I'm sorry, Waltrip, that I spun right back down in front of you. I had no control. Yeah, I might as well pit. I got damage. Oh my god. I think I made it a little too loose. I think I'm gonna at least tighten up at least one bit. At least half a round.
And now pit stops occurring out on the track. Yeah, might as well fix the damage. Yeah, I went up half a round. I think it's too loose, too. I so hate short tracks. I'm so bad at it. I'm so frustrated by it. Every time I go to short tracks in this career mode, let's play. Look at the damage. It's not how I, my car needs to be after each race. I need to definitely repair the body. But I don't have. The problem is I don't have a lot of money either. In the bank to do all this repairing and overhauling shit. Yeah, whatever. Just notice I'm not in the last. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come the fuck on, car! I didn't hit anything. Oh my god, come the fuck on! How tight do I need to make this car? Look at this. I didn't feel like I hit the brakes too early either. I hit the wall after afterwards. Look at this. Look at that. Hit nothing here. Good. Yeah, I'll pit. I guess my tires are gone. I don't know how much looser I... I don't want this car too tight, but I don't want it to the point of spinning it out. I never spun the car out in the first half of the race. And then when we got to the second half, this is already an issue. Oh my god. Now one car hits pit road. I might as well try to fix some more damage as I can. I'm, I'm speechless with this race right now. I didn't think it was going to be... I knew it was going to be bad, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. This is just pathetic. At least I could say my pit crew's doing a damn good job on pit road. 17 and a half second pit stop again. Looks like Gordon's gonna be the race leader. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. The track is clear of the earlier accident and we are back underway. Racing down into the corner. The leader leads them down into the corner. Now who the hell is calling me? Alright, all right. well, never mind. They just hung up on... Mmm, eight more. Alright, I, I know the top five now. Alright, come on, break. Don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. Alright, the car didn't spin that time. But I'm still gonna be bad. They're gonna pull away from me. Only ten laps left. Ah, uh, got some drivers heading down pit road. Interesting. Did Gordon not pit? Where is he? Is he the one pitting? Yeah, Gordon's on pit road. Huh. Interesting. I mean, he had a chance to pit during the caution, but now he's gonna put him two laps himself two laps down. And Kurt Busch has blown the motor, so I will not finish dead last in this race. Thank the Lord. Alright, looks like Gorn's only gonna go a lap down. Wow, I actually caught these guys? Holy crap, where was this at the beginning of the race? Where was this in the first half of the race, catching all these guys? Where was this? None of that. The four car is outside. Clear on both sides. 
So, I know it's five laps to go. Four to go now, because the leader just got there. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Got one on. Oh, can no son of a bitch! When I thought I was doing good, I come up the racetrack in the Ken Schrader and spun myself out. Oh my god, just because of turn one, I just slid it going in the corner, got up in the Ken Schrader, and there you go. And then bang, Mike Skinner. Sorry, Mike Skinner. Sorry, Ken Schrader, for coming up in the hill. I'm so bad. this race over can we just have this race done please yeah I think the race is over I think Tony Stewart just won good race ends in the caution I don't care I got 40 I'm gonna finish 42nd Tony Stewart wins here at Richmond whatever wow only two cars on the lead lap too I changed the whole complexity of the race show that with the right setup and the right I just want to get out of this track so I got rival with wall trip now Skinner yeah only gain uh, I only gain 89k let's just get out of here I'm so frustrated with short tracks. It's unbelievable. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at them. Thankfully, now we're going to big racetracks, wide racetracks where I can perform. All right. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Saving right now. Let's just um, go to. Oh my god, the saving. Why? <sighs> All right, let's go to team management real quick. Show you what's going on. I they're 90. Uh, looks like yeah, the engine is done repairing and the body is done repairing. All that is, all this is done repairing. Got 51, 53, 52, 53, and 53, 53. I know it's not a lot of money, but I need to, I need to repair, I need to, hmm. What can I overhaul? Now, I need to think here, what should I overhaul? Well... Uh... Let me see. They're all at 50. I need to figure out what I should think about repairing. See, that ain't gonna do much. So, should I just go with the, uh, the engine? I should go with the engine. Overhaul. Let's try it. Let's just go with it. I'm just... That means I need, I need to use... Uh, I can use the same... See, I'm going to Charlotte for the All-Star Race and the Coke 600, so I can use the same stuff for both the Charlotte Race. And Shop Edition, eight more races till the Fabrication Shop comes in. All right, well, that's it for this race. Next race is going to be the All-Star Race. It's not a points race. It's just going to be one, an exhibition race. So I will see you for the All-Star Race.